got a flooded basement, and it's pretty interesting to see. It's not something that we get to see that often. So I thought it'd be good for you folks to see what a flooded basement looks like. We've got a couple of pumps running. We've been pumping for a few hours, and the water's it's dropping, but we still probably have about three feet left. And it's amazing what that water can do. We estimated there's probably about 75,000 gallons of water in this basement, and it'll take all day to pump out. We don't want to pump it out too fast because there's potential damage to the, to the foundation if you take that water out too quick. But here's the interesting thing. Look at the mold growth on this wall. We've got mold growth on this door, and all this mold is caused by secondary water damage. It's water vapor that's soaked in these materials long enough, and the materials got wet enough that mold eventually grew. So we've got condensation on this wall, which is in itself not a big deal. But this wall over here got wet long enough that we've got some pretty good mold growth on that wall. So don't make this, this mistake at your house. If your house is water damaged, the liquid water is important, but you also have to keep in mind that the water vapor can cause